welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busari moliayo and i'm a registered nurse based in nigeria here on this youtube channel i film about nursing chit chats nursing tutorials as well as health education and today we're going to be talking about how to survive nursing school in nigeria can you click on the subscribe button or icon to join the youtube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss any video from me with that being said let's get right into today's video now i had a plan of doing this video for a very long time ago like a couple of weeks ago actually but i've been holding back on it due to um a couple of things but yesterday i threw open a question on my whatsapp status where i asked nurses students on my contact list to kind of tell me their challenges as a student nurse i was honestly expecting the question to be more of i have issues with this course or this subject or this particular aspect of nursing or practical or OSCE. but i was surprised that majority of the answers i was getting were more about emotional um challenges that student nurses tend to be going through some are frustrated some are depressed some are so so sad about their performance in school and all that so I think majority of the student nurses in Nigeria right now may be experiencing a mental breakdown and I feel I should address this because we all know nursing is actually very stressful. We know that the um, syllabus is a bit cumbersome and some of the lecturers may not be so nice, some in quotes, we have very good ones among them as well. So today's video is actually going to be divided into six sections, I'm going to talk about two sections, I'm going to talk about how to study better as a nursing student and how to cope with emotional stress as a nursing student those are the two things we're going to be talking about today actually i have a video on how to study better as a nursing student i'm going to leave the link in the description box below as well as the end screen so that you can watch it when you're done with this one but here are my new tips that i updated from the former video one division of labor that is the best way you can study as a nursing student and what do i mean by division of labor you need to get a group of serious minded please not the word serious minded friends don't go and pick um friends with a group of people that you know that they would not study you get what i mean so i pick a group of maybe like five or six serious minded people and you form a reading group let's assume that you want to study cardiovascular system today two may take um the anatomy and physiology of the cardiovascular system they read it on their own some may take about three different um disease conditions their pathophysiology as well as the nursing care plan then another two may decide to take pharmacology. Um, those are drugs related to the cardiovascular system, like antihypertensive drugs and um, cardiac stimulants and other drugs like that. Then another group may decide to just take, um, let's say the okay, we talk pharmacology, anatomy, med surge. Some may just try to take nursing management of conditions within the cardiovascular system. So you divided the entire um, system amongst yourself. You read it differently. Then you come together and discuss it. You get my point that way instead of reading one particular topic for a day you can end up finishing like three or four within a day because you are discussing it and discussing to me i feel takes a shorter time than you sitting down trying to read all that information by yourself and you tend to remember what you hear than what you're reading you get what i mean another tip that has been updated from the last video is that do more of videos than reading if you want to learn very fast now this is it. There are a lot of um, YouTube channels that you can get tutorials based on anatomy, physiology, med surge, or any other um, course or subject or topic that may be giving you issues and you tend to remember what you see a lot because they're going to be giving you dragomatical explanation of which you're going to be seeing the cadavers, you're going to be seeing the organs and so many and it's going to be and you can even download some of this video and watch over and over and over again in case you don't understand help you get my point so with those two tips added to the one from the previous video i feel you should be able to study better as a nurse student and that would help you solve if not all but most of your studying problems now moving to the second part of the video which is coping with emotional stress as a nigerian student nurse first <laughs> i'm going to have to show you some of the replies i got on my whatsapp status which actually prompted me to do this section of the video because I felt heartbroken, I felt touched with some of the messages you guys sent. If you don't have my WhatsApp number, I'm going to put it on the screen so that you can talk to me or communicate with me whenever you want to. So first, I'm going to be reading um, a reply from someone. The person is going to remain anonymous. So the reply goes thus, For me, nothing has been one of the most difficult decisions I ever made. It gets more difficult every day. 
You witness a challenge one time and you're like, no other challenge can be worse than it, but the next challenge may seem life-threatening. Is this to think of the workload or combining clinicals with classes, preparation for exam, and then you feel like you've touched every bit and the questions make you go ment? Most nursing lecturers aren't even helping matters. They have to be the most... <laughs> they have to be the most evil people I have come across all my life. It doesn't feel like they have human feelings. To even think that I'm a nursing student in private school, it doesn't feel like the lecturer... It doesn't feel like that. The lecturers tend to demoralize those of us that intend to go into lecturing because it feels like wickedness is a special course if you intend to lecture. Well, it's no doubt that we have good ones among them. There is so much to tell as a nursing student, but most importantly, I'm grateful for the grace to cope despite the difficult odds. It may seem unbearable, but God has a way of making us kill through. Now, this particular reply has a lot of... Um, information embedded in it. First she spoke about the stress of combining clinicals with classes, then she talked about the lecturers. Now I'm going to talk about that aspect of lectures. Look, the lecturers are humans too, okay? Some of them, the way they were taught in the 90s is still the way they want to teach and this is 21st century. Some of their methods may seem old because in those days we lived in being strict um they they more the more or less imbibed cultural values into the way they teach in those years but now the, um, the world is more developed we're more civilized and all like that this is it your lecturer may have had a bad day and may be transferring aggression at that particular moment another thing is that you need to just have it at the back of your mind your lecturers are human too and they are not perfect Whatever they might be doing might seem wrong, but that might be the best way they could express themselves. You get my point. I'm not trying to defend the lecturers and I'm not trying to say what the student said is bad. We do have some terrible ones and we also have some good ones. You get my point. If for someone like me that have been both in the position of a tutor and both in the position of a student, I kind of like have um, a little experience of both sides so I'm trying to like balance it now as a student what you need to do is to make sure that not everything they say gets to you if you take everything they say to heart I'm sorry you're going to have a mental breakdown because the lecturer could be referring to just one person in the class of over 100 students and if you take it to heart you're going to begin to feel bad you get my point whenever they make a bad comment just ignore it and move on with your life Another thing you need to understand is that don't put too much pressure on yourself. Know your limits. If you're not on first class, it is not a sin. If you're on first class, congratulations, and I pray God helps you to keep that CGPA. But if you're on 2 1, as long as you're doing above average, it is okay. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Personally, I didn't finish with the first class and I'm doing fine. You get my point. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because once you, um, you're trying so hard to get. To, I'm not saying that making good grades are impossible, but you know how voluminous these things are. You know how tedious these things are. So once you're doing above average, be okay, be content. As long as you're not failing, you're not piling up carryovers. That is okay. It is fine. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. If you're reading for four hours and it works for you, stick to four hours. Don't go and compare yourself with people that are reading for six hours. You guys don't have the same mental capacity. You guys don't have the same zeal. You don't have the same vibe for reading. Don't put too much pressure on yourself as a nursing student. Then three, please, if you're a student nurse, you already have enough challenges and problems to place um, to face already. Don't add a toxic relationship to the list of your problems please like it's a very important point i know you're in the university or you're in the tertiary institution or you're in the school of nursing and people are like okay, fine once she's done she has to get married because the majority of us are ladies and once it's done she has to get married and this please don't because of that put um a toxic relationship and add it to the list of the problems you're already going through because it is not going to help you your boyfriend your girlfriend your fiance should not be adding to your problem 
as a student knows if you get what i mean if a person cannot support you let go of the person i'm being honest here because i know a lot of us are having relationship issues and we're trying to combine it with nursing school babe guy you are doing yourself the type of relationship will come you meet someone else don't add toxic relationship stress to the problems that you already have in nursing then another thing is make time out for yourself no matter how little you need some time to take care of yourself as well you are a human being you're not a machine you're not a robot you've read from monday to friday even if it's just four hours out of your saturday go to the movies go and get yourself a nice part treatment eat something good please take time out to take care of yourself rest take time to rest if you keep on reading um at a stretch you don't have breaks in between you're going to fall sick and sick people don't write exams you're going to write exams on sick bed dead people do not have um exams so you need to like take out time to rest take out time to eat take out time to take care of take care of yourself you understand take care of yourself everything is not about books 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 while you're in school i know that is your um primary assignment in school but at least take good care of yourself so these are like the tips that i feel could help you survive as a student nurse in nigeria and now to the extra tips no matter what you do do not break school rules now that can add a huge amount to the problem you are already about to face breaking school rules is the last thing you want to do trust me if you are to go to chapel please go even if you're a muslim and school is saying that everyone must attend chapel just obey for the for, for your peace of mind just obey please if they say you're to be in class by eight just be there even if you are going to have to put your um breakfast in your bag and eat it later just do it don't don't give um don't let any lecturer or any tutor have the cause to mention your name in a bad situation please don't let it don't give them the um chance to paint your name bad because that is one thing that can mar your entire career as a nursing student trust me because once they notice you to be a very stubborn or bad student everyone is going to pick on you they're going to start monitoring your scores they're going to start monitoring your math number they're going to start monitoring your notes they're monitoring your performance they monitor your movement and every other thing you're going to do once they know you are a bad student don't let them know you as a bad student so that's the extra tip guys so if this video has helped you in any way kindly share it to your friends to your classmates don't forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and see you in the next video bye guys if you wish to share any of my videos kindly click on the share icon copy the link and then go to any of your social media accounts such as whatsapp write the title of the video or any suitable caption as a message or as a status post paste the link from youtube and then send thank you